So I have not played the Seven Mortal Sins Ecstasy yet, but there are a lot of people that are upset with this game, both on Reddit and on Discord. So as of two days ago, this Reddit thread was opened. Has almost 400 likes currently, hundreds of comments. It's titled, Stay the Hell Away from the Seven Mortal Sins Ecstasy. Global gets shafted every single week. Before we go any further though, I do wanna give a quick shout out to all of our patrons over on Patreon. While this channel is technically monetized due to the nature of a lot of the content, Patreon allows for me to at least make something off of these videos. So kudos guys, you guys rock. Then it goes on to read, I've seen people recommend this game sometimes on the sub but they never mention how badly Global is treated. In this game, you need a ton of dupes to progress your units. In Taiwan and Japan, there are very accessible ways to get dupes in skill books, but they made it more difficult in Global to get these generic dupes. The many problems and shafts. Number one, Global is moving at light speed with a new banner every single week. There's zero dead week in between events. Every event is a stamina drain, meaning that you have to commit all of your stamina farming the events. If you want to get gear to progress your account, you have to spend a massive amount of currency on stamina, not an option for free to play players unless they never want new units, or forego the event entirely. How the last event actually required you to buy stamina in order to complete it unless you were lucky and pulled the event unit early on, which is actually kind of crazy to think about having to burn all of your stamina just to participate in the event. So outside of participating in the event, you're not actually playing the game. Also, the fact that there's a new banner every single week, I know that there are gonna be some people that are like, oh, that's actually really good. That means things never, never stagnate, never get boring. But on the flip side, that means so many missed opportunities for the majority of players. Number two, Japan stamina bundle costs 180,000 coins, while global costs 130 diamonds, which is our pull currency. Number three, last week on global, we received a spend diamonds for reward event. It costs 35,000 diamonds to get all 10 tickets. Japan got the event and it only costs 10,000 diamonds to get to all 10 tickets. Unfortunately, I don't have the screenshot for global since the event has already ended, but that's actually kind of crazy. They tripled the price for us as global players, which really makes me just automatically think that they're trying to milk us global players for everything we have. Also, the final reward for Japan is much better than global as they got a random virtue unit ticket while global just had special equipment for sin. To be fair, it is Japan's anniversary so I understand their final reward should be better. However, it's insane that they increased the cost of global's event by 25,000 diamonds. Number four, blood is a resource used to buy generic skill dupe books. However, in global, the developers severely upped the cost of buying these books. They legit added an extra zero to the cost, causing Discord mods to believe that it was only a bug. Well, it wasn't a bug, and the devs have doubled down on it since then. One of the beginner missions gives you 3,000 blood and states that you get a free sin or dupe, but it is nowhere near the cost of it in global. You can get a free sin or dupe in the Japan and Taiwanese, however. They obviously just translated it from Taiwan and forgot to change it for global. Note, in global, you have to buy these books by fragments, which is a thousand for a full book. So you have to buy two totaling 30,000 blood. Number five, I believe the reason that not many people called this game out was because there was a trick global had to consistently get skill up mats, but they completely took that method away without warning this patch. There was a specific unit, Summoner Luciana, that you can sell to effectively trade for the dupe book, but now you cannot. We are left with increased prices across the board and no way for free to play to consistently get dupes. It would have been cool if every unit had this feature for the duration of their event, but that's just not the case judging from the new event. And I'm, I'm gonna stop there for a moment because why do mobile developers, mobile publishers always do this? They release these quote unquote updates, these quote unquote fixes to the game, but in a way that no one ever knows that it happens. They don't directly address it. They just hope nobody recognizes it, realizes it, but this is all too common in the mobile scene. Number six, they rushed out consonants super early. 
For reference, Japan got it around Story Chapter 20, which I believe was six months into service. Global got it at Chapter 11, which is one month into service. Consonance is a system where units get stat buffs and added effects to their skills. However, in order to activate consonants, you need specific units. Not only do you need them, but you also have to have them built. So have dupes of them to increase the levels of consonants. I'd call it whale bait, but unfortunately the game in Japan and Taiwan has been balanced around consonants since the added effects make or break a unit. Luckily, not all consonants, dude, the amount of times this guy says consonants, I swear, have been transferred to global, yet and only a very small handful of the cast has it available. People are going to come out and say that the devs have tweaked the blood gain global has, but it doesn't make up the difference between Japan and Taiwan. They took blood away from the normal arena and moved it to 15v15 arena. They did not go back to the beginner missions and tweak the blood values, so we got shafted in that department still. There was zero need to change up global, and my theory is that they are just moving values around to obscure the shafting as much as possible. All in all, I actually really enjoyed this game, however no one is saying anything, and the devs are just getting worse and worse every week. I'm just going to continue playing JP and drop global at this point. And that's actually kind of depressing. I saw this game and I was immediately interested in playing it. And I know you guys were too. For those of you that haven't played it yet, for those of you that are considering playing it, I know why. And I'm considering it for the exact same reason. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the comments. If I'm not wrong, aren't they increasing the banner price for pulling? I forgot about that. The first banner featuring Lucifer was very highly anticipated unit. The, the unit, she's the unit everyone wants because she solo carries you over the game. They made that banner cost 1200 per 10 pull instead of the usual one. So they knew how anticipated the character was and in an attempt to milk more money from players, they decided to increase the cost to pull 10 times. Yes, it's only an increase of 200, but it adds up. It's literally already a red flag. It really is that that is an increase of 20% in price. To be honest, I never understood why some companies are so stupid and think that people won't notice shafting. Right? How disconnected are these people? The game is fun, but don't spend any money on it. Once shafting gets too much, just bail the F out. That's one way of handling it. Play a game, enjoy the game for what it's worth. When it no longer becomes enjoyable, just stop playing it. Honestly, this is a, these are a lot of red flags. I'm still interested in playing it because I'm curious of the kind of game it is, but these reasons are more than enough for your average free gotcha player to steer clear. And I would recommend doing so.